laughing. And I'm just back from a jog and I thought, do you know what? I'm not allowed to post on my stories today about what I'm doing because it's all a bit confidential. I'll explain later. So I thought, I'll just pick up the camera and vlog. Revolutionary, I know. <laughs> doing something really like just like fancy and cool today. So I thought you could just come along for the ride. Love Honey is hosting an event at the Sea Containers Hotel, which is like on the South Bank. If you've ever been to London, it's like a fancy touristy part. It's a gorgeous hotel. And I was gonna get changed before I like jumped on here to speak to you or before I went, but the whole afternoon is like a spa vibe. So I was like, actually, maybe I'll just wait and I'll shower when I get there because one, saves my water bill and two, you know, there's no point showering here and getting redressed and then just taking my clothes back off. I may as well just... Oh, I'm a bit stinky. I'm a bit stinky though. Ah, oh, well. So I need to pack. Does this overnight bag look too keen? Is it giving, I think I'm staying for more than one night? Do you know what? Oh, well, we're not gonna overthink this. I just wanna pack and leave and go and relax at the spa. Okay, let's not just be chaos. Let's not just be chaos. Let's work through this logically. So first, we're at the spa, and at the spa you wear a swimming costume. It's really bad storage in the house, so I just have all of my cozies in like a tote bag <laughs> that sits in the bottom of my wardrobe. Like I'm British, so like I don't use these very often. What about this one? What do you call this? Wav. I think I got it as part of a partnership with someone. I think it was Asta actually. This one I got sent and I don't think they ever asked for my sizes and they sent me a size small and I'm not a small lassie. I need, that needs to go. I'm just gonna put it back in here for now. What do you think? Oh, boobies! This one. So once I've been in the spa, all I need is my cozy. I'm getting like a little massage. Ah! Then, there's a bit of like an evening do. However, they said the dress code was casual. What do you wear? Oh, I shouldn't have left pack into the last minute. <gasps> Maybe I'll pack my cowboy boots. Yeah, I'm gonna pack my cowboy boots. That's all I need. Right, so let me work through my day. Start. <coughs> I've packed my makeup. I've got my like just basic skincare products. That's my hair and makeup done. I've packed socks, socks, some socks. I've got some freshly clean. They're actually, they're a bit damp, to be honest. You win some, you lose some. Some socks for today, socks for tomorrow, socks for tomorrow. Also a little bit damp, but we move. We move, we rally, who cares? They smell good, done. I think, do you know what? If I don't have it, don't matter. I'm off and I'm on the vibes of if I've forgotten something then I've forgotten something and I will just deal with the consequences when the consequences come around. I'm just waiting for the tube and I just thought I'd mention that like it has occurred to me what a chuffing random can that car stop making noise it's distracting me from my thoughts it has not escaped my notice that this is the most chuffing random thing to be doing on a is it Wednesday on a Wednesday is it afternoon yet yeah, on a Wednesday at like 20 past 12. Like this morning, which is why I'm in workout clothes, I don't know if I explained this, but I jogged my nearly sister-in-law's commute into work with her. Um, and she was like, right, well, I've got this meeting on today and I've got this call and we were just discussing what was happening at her work. And then she was like, well, what are you doing? And I was like, well, um, the spa is open from 12 and have a massage booked in for I think like 2.15. Um, <laughs> and I was just like, what? what is my life? I did throw in my laptop just in case I had time to get any work done because I am working on hashtag secret project and I really could do with getting some of that done, but we'll see. I don't want to give up my spa time. I kind of just want to sit around in a robe and branded slippers. I hope they have branded slippers. I think my train's here. Yeah, my train's here. <laughs> See you later. When I go into central London, I still feel like such a tourist. Like, look at these big buildings. What the heck? Is that the Shard? I 
feel like it is. That's the entrance. What the heck? Titanic? No. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. What the actual chuff. I've never had this much space in a hotel room before. Are you kidding? <gasps> and a desk! <gasps> What's my view? Officers. <laughs> so roomy it's literally so roomy i can like dance around in here walk in shower i'm a bit overwhelmed to be honest i'm gonna put my cosy on one of the gowns and make my way to the spa which the receptionist told me we literally have exclusive use of the spa for just the love honey people so i don't know how many people are there but wild and i also spotted fried sweets Look at this. Love is love, but also kind of needs some sweets that's like protect trans rights. friendly. Love Honey releasing what Love Honey do best. You know. Toys. <laughs> Use it in the bathroom. That is not what I was doing. That's not why I wanted to shower. Maybe I did give it a go. They set them up in the rooms for us so that we can like trial them basically. You know how when you're younger and you don't own any toys, you end up using household objects. Love Honey have put, they've made a shower head that you can use on, on your hoo-ha. These jets come out with water, there's like a dial for intensity and then there's like a button here which switches the mode. How intelligent is that? Also, the second thing I want to talk to you about now that you know why the heck I am here is I'm feeling a little bit insecure, not about my actual body as it is, but I purposefully did not shave because I've been growing out my body hair recently and I was like, just because you're going to an event where you're going to be in a bikini some of the day, you shouldn't feel like you have to shave because I'm loving how my body hair looks in a minute. I really enjoy it and I think the only thing that's putting me off is the idea of like other people seeing it and being judgy. But like... I'm more comfortable not having to shave, not having that rash down here when your bikini's wet and it rubs on it. You know the one, you know the one. So I just have like hair in all the places. And I feel like, I don't mind at all the armpit hair. I actually think the armpit hair is so hot. Like I think that is so female gaze. Like, ah! <coughs> sorry. Sometimes I just get self-conscious of the hair that's down here because it feels more like intimate. I don't know if that makes sense because it's literally just like hair. It's literally just hair. But because it's growing down here, it almost just feels inappropriate to having a public space. And I know that's just the society thoughts in my head and they're not my thoughts. They're thoughts I've been told and given by like 
this rotten ass society that we live in but it does make me feel a bit self-conscious and I just thought I'd voice that because otherwise I'm going to give the impression that I'm just out here being a hairy girl not caring but I do care look at me in my slippers in my slippers <laughs> I'm so excited I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog of like the actual spa itself but I'll fill you in whatever you don't see because I'm literally never going to do this again I need this to look back on <laughs> Maybe we should go for a pink. We picked this colour. This is... What did you say it was? Feeling oh, hot. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I have no idea. I am just going with the flow. I am just going with the top team. Um, and then I think there's like talks. And then there's like a demonstration about like sex no, oh my god. Well, the next one. So 7 pm is a demonstration, we're all like No. Stunning! Oh just let me get my little crown with my little nails. Oh, so wholesome. Oh, hello vlog. When was the last time I updated you? Was it when I just had my nails and I was drinking tea? I went in the steam room. I'm now stinky and smelly and sweaty. My, my, my sweat has smelled so bad at the minute, but oh, I feel so zen. I love a steam room. I feel like I've been to the spa now, you know? I really feel like I've had the experience. <laughs> I feel like even, can you tell? I'm just like, I kind of love the like, tussled waves vibe. Do you want to see it? 360. I wish I brought my like um, styling products. I feel like it's just a bit too frizzy to have it like this for dinner time, but we'll see. Maybe I'll just vibe with it. I haven't felt self conscious at all today, and I feel like it's the kind of people that love me. Invite. Oh my god, look at that sweat patch. Can you see that sweat patch? Time to head back. Boom! Boom. Keep the shoe. Keep the shoe. Um, back in my room from the spa. I had my toes done as well. Um, just came up from having a done, but you're not going to see them because I don't give out free foot pics. I'm zen. Six minutes to seven. Do you know earlier when I was like, oh, I've packed my laptop and if I have time, time to work, then I will. A bit like stinky from the sweaty steam room. Actually, I was stinky before I went in the steam room. I don't know why I'm so stinky right now. Is it hormones? I've just finished my period. Is that, is that relevant? Why am I so stinky? Shower, get dressed, do your makeup, and then they've like booked a room uh, upstairs, I think, to go to. So hopefully that's fine. See you there. Tell me I look pretty. Um, now nah, let's be honest here. I'm feeling silly, my little dress. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna have to be short and sweet as an update because I'm running super late because I was just filming TikToks. I just wanted to make thirst trap TikToks and there's no shame in that. Maybe there is a bit of shame, but you know, oh well, we look pretty. We're just literally going like down the corridor. I think they've got like a big room. There's like snackies, drinkies. I'm gonna stick to my three drink limit because I'm trying to be so curious. Why is there weird lines on my face? Unsure. But, do I like my hair? Let me show you the outfit like in the mirror with the full hair and everything. Um, let's put this back so I can see. But I think it's a vibe. I actually love this like blunt cut. Um, but I think it looks quite cute wavy. Um, I've just like clipped these bits back. I feel like with a bit of product. Pals, I'm not gonna lie to you. I am now running even later. So I stopped to take selfies, which is my own stupid fault. But I was like, do you know what? It's worth it. It's worth it. I want selfies. I'm gonna follow the noise and hope for the best and hope that 
I'm not too late. Why do we masturbate in the shower? 67% of women under 35 years of age say that they have masturbated in the shower. Are we surprised by this number? No. 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 Should we hire? Yeah, I was about to say. Here with Melissa and I'm getting my tarot cards read, which is something I've never ever done before. And did you have any questions or any areas you wanted to explore? So, I'm currently single and I really want to be in a relationship. Okay. So I feel like no pressure. love advice. <laughs> All right. You could just tell me that I'm not going to be forever alone. That would actually be fantastic. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, it's messing, it's messing. Right, so what I want you to do is give the cards a shuffle for me. So try to just clear your mind and let any thoughts and feelings come to you. And then as you're shuffling, I just want you to focus on your breathing. So do a nice deep breath in and out. It's the three of swords. So this shows that deep down there is still the fear of heartbreak. But that's very sweet. It's normal. But it's trying not to worry about her. Future steps, which is a magician. She's awesome. Oh, I love her. The magician is fantastic. They are somebody that is quite unique in the tarot deck because they've got mastery over all the different elements. So they have the swords, the pentacles, the wands and the cups, which represents that actually, you know, despite what you might believe about yourself, you're quite balanced, you're intuitive, you're in touch with your emotions, you know what you want, you're passionate about the things that you like and you're also grounded enough not to be like kind of arrogant. So you are like the great mix of like all the best things really. This card is just about not worrying about it and really going up for it. So, have you ever heard the saying the only people that don't have imposter syndrome are imposters? Yeah. That's what this card is all about. It represents sort of like the next six month period. So they go quite nicely together actually. This is a real balance. And they look like So it's nice. So this is like, four of ones represents, this is really the best way for us. Four of ones represents kind of like, it's something a little bit more stable, a little bit more solid. It could represent like a significant other, like a romantic or a sexual partner or partners. Hot summer. girl summer. <laughs> I love that I've literally just accidentally bound the table and the devil cards just flipped up <gasps> for you. What does the devil card mean? Pink. Ah! Well. <laughs> do you want to take a picture of your card? Yeah, I do. I do. I'm back in my room. I'm so sorry. I feel like I really didn't film the event at all. It just kind of wasn't the vibes where you get out your camera and just like film. Like I was just having like chats with everybody and it was lovely. And um, I'm just applying a bit more lip product and a little top up of the makeup because I'm gonna go for a cocktail with some of the gals I've met today and tonight, which is lovely. Look at me, I'm making friends. I hope you're all proud. Look at me. Not being social, I'm always social, but look at me like branching out, like I'm proud of me. More lip product and I'm going to leave the camera here because I'm not going to vlog, I'm trying to make friends guys. We have to look cool, even though they can probably hear me chatting right now from their rooms that are literally next door. Good night! Hello, good morning! I'm actually in a fantastical mood this morning, which is such a relief because I feel like, did I talk about this earlier in the vlog? I'm trying to only have a limit of three drinks every time. Oh, I got some new little white tops from Uniqlo, so we're wearing one today. But um, trying to limit myself at three drinks whenever I go out. Every time I feel like I go over like three drinks, I just feel horrible the day after. And not like physically, like physically I'll be fine. But it's like mentally, I just get so upset with myself all the time. Last night, I had four. I had a, two beers at like the actual event, which I did not get much footage of. I'm so sorry. I was just took having a nice time. After the event, we went to the cocktail bar. So first we went downstairs. The bar down there is literally like gorgeous. And Love Honey bought us all like a little cocktail each. It was literally one of the nicest things I've ever had. Like when it touched my lips, I was just like, it was like a whiskey sours. Then when we were like, let's check out like the upstairs bar, like let's check out like the view rooftop bar. I knew, I knew when I agreed to go to the rooftop bar, I was not gonna be able to resist because they have a different cocktail menu upstairs. So I got this like other one, oh, I can't remember what it was, but it had like, um, like a date in it and it was like a whiskey date 
vibe. I tried to stick to like similar spirits so that it wouldn't like mess with me too much. But I feel jolly today. The fact that I'm able to like vlog and believe in myself enough to put a camera in front of me is good because last time I went over my three drink limit, I just literally couldn't work because every time I tried to pick up a camera, I was just like, uh, like you're not entertaining, you're not funny, like, who do you think you are? Gross. And that's why I tried to implement a drinking limit. And do you know what? It was actually just like the loveliest atmosphere. I feel like I've spoken on Instagram about how sometimes I really struggle with like imposter syndrome on events because I just panic that I'm like not really meant to be there or you know I don't feel welcome, I don't feel like it's the right, it's a setting that I fit into and I literally did not feel that way at all at like any point yesterday. Like I was always just chatting away to people and I think Love Honey do it really well where they invite this like mix of people from like different careers so in the room um in and like the spa as well it was a mix of kind of content creators like me but also journalists who were kind of writing about the new toy and also like sex therapists oh that was my you better be up by now alarm <laughs> so the event was just lovely and i think sometimes if you invite just influencers oh how shady am i gonna be right now how shady do i want to be right now when you invite just influencers, some influencers really will not speak to you if you have a lower follower count than them or if they don't recognise you. They really do just sit on their like, high horse. And I feel like when you're not having just influencers and it's people from all walks of life, you just chat. You chat. And yeah, you, work comes up and you discuss like, oh, are you a journalist? Like, who do you write for? Blah, blah, blah. Just because it's like interesting chat, but it's not like a, oh, I'm only going to speak to you. If like, you know... The vibes are just different. Maybe I'm not explaining this well, but they just did a really good job. And also, I just love the Love Honey like PR team and stuff. Like they're just lovely. Like I just chat away to like the staff, and they don't even feel like they're like they feel like they're also there at like part of it. Like they're not just at the side. Like like they feel like part of the group. Like it's just lovely. Like it really is just so pleasant. I think I've caught you up. Let's go get some breakfast. I am a mess. My room is a mess. Socks. I left them out to dry just like on the floor last night. I remembered that they were still a bit damp. <laughs> so I just like got them out of bag last night and just like left them on the floor. <gasps> also, when I got back last night, I was like, right. It is whack a doodle time, if you know what I mean. I had a cheeky shower. This looks so good. Yeah. yeah. This has just been like so nice. Like, wow, I've enjoyed this. Right, I'm gonna go put some Taylor Swift music on, clear my room, tidy everything up, and then out we go. I don't know why I made that into kind of like a weird song. But anyway, if you have enjoyed this vlog, then please subscribe. Wherever the subscribe button is appearing on your screen right now, click it. There's also going to be some suggested videos on screen right now. So if you want to go watch some of my other adventures, click those. Okay, bye. I'll stop making a fool of myself now. <laughs>